Yeah, we're ready to go. I mean, we had our last uh, last day of spring training today. Uh, broke camp today, if you will. No pink slips in any lockers. Uh, it's a good thing. Uh, I, I thought we got after it. The coaching staff worked extremely hard, and the players just gave us everything they had since January 10th uh, until today. We've had – last four days have been 7 a.m.s uh, just because of Mardi Gras, and those are always great. Uh kind of have the rest of the day to do whatever, and, and energy's always good in the morning for some reason. But we've had uh, three three straight sim games, and, and uh, or four of them, and as healthy as we can be uh, heading into Friday. So uh, now it's time just to play baseball. A couple of maintenance days on Wednesday. They'll have tomorrow off uh, just because of, of uh, Fat Tuesday. But uh, a couple of maintenance days, Wednesday and Thursday, and uh, face a good Wright State team coming in here uh, Friday, uh, back-to-back regionals. I've played Wright State before. They're always tough, always well coached, and uh, they their game's a little bit like ours. Uh, I think they led their league in, in stolen bases last year, and they like to run and create. Uh, so it'll be a good challenge for us right out the gate. Is this the kind of team you like to play to start the season? Yeah, I, I like to to get sharpened, and and I think either way it goes, you know, we'll learn a lot about ourselves uh, just facing a team like Wright State, that that team full of expectation. They dominate their league uh, every year, and uh, you know they, they're they're not new to postseason play, uh, and they like to create and make stuff happen, and so they'll uh, they'll expose us at times, I'm sure, uh, but just being as early as it is. Uh, but it's always – that will certainly sharpen us up moving forward. You talked a lot about Kuzma coming on. How could that impact the defense? Just having that extra guy who's focusing on pitching with Coach Tibb and all. Like, how, how, how do you see that playing? Tibb does a great job coaching our defense, you know, evidenced by the – the fact we set a school record for fielding percentage last year. I think we made 43 errors on the year. Uh, but Gunner impacts it this way. Uh, there's fewer chances, okay? And that, that can really help your fielding percentage when you're, you know, when the catcher's the one making the out. And uh, when you punch a lot of guys out, which we're going to this year, uh, that takes a lot of heat off your defense. And so Gunner can certainly impact it that way. Just his pitch calling is is at an elite level. Uh, he coaches. I was telling somebody on the phone this morning, Gunner coaches the way he pitched. And it's a high, high confidence and uh, aggressive, uh, but also smart and, and uh, just a great feel for the game. And so the ability to punch out uh, opposing hitters, which we have that type stuff, uh, you know, that's that'll definitely take heat off a of defense. Throwing more balls in the air will take heat off of a defense. Uh, I like our defense, though. It's, uh, you know, anytime you got Debo and John Taylor and Higgs right there in the middle, uh, Jose Torres has done a tremendous job behind the plate. I like our defense. So you, you factor in a few more punch outs this year, and, and uh, it's, it's going to bode well for us. You mentioned about having expectations to see guys get more punch outs this season. What have you seen out of the pitching staff with the way they've prepared to give you the confidence to believe it? Been tough sledding, Jamarcus. I mean, we uh, they they've they've handled us pretty well all spring, and uh, you know I think we've sharpened both sides. That iron sharpened that iron. Uh, we've had three really good days uh, offensively in a row, and then came out today and Andrew Ramon threw a perfect game against us through four, uh, four or five might have been five. Uh, so it's you, you, every day is just a brand new day, man. And the, those arms have, have certainly made us better and challenged us. If you haven't already, when do you set the roster for the season? Is there any surprises from when we started spring training too? Well, we can have forty, Dave, and and uh, that's what we have. And so there's no there's no cuts coming down the pike. Uh, I will give you guys. I'll announce our rotation here today. Uh, we're going to go with Jack Martinez on Friday. Uh, Chase Morgan will go Saturday, and then Carson Fluno will go Sunday, and uh, Andrew Armand will go uh, Tuesday against McNeese. What about Morgan? Is it pressure so much to put him in that position? 
he's better than Gunner was as a freshman. And I hate to put that on him, but the stuff is better. And uh, we we all saw how that turned out. Now, uh, there, there will be a hiccup or two. That's just baseball. Uh, but he – his uh, the way he handles the game and, and navigates the lineup is very very mature. It's it's beyond a freshman in college, uh, and his stuff's really good. And he's left handed and uh, he just has a lot of poise out there. He's he's thrown four pitches for strikes and they're all above average pitches. And he's earned. You know this isn't like we flipped a coin so he was going to go out there. He you know I tried everything I could to you know, push it to maybe a Tuesday or, you know, let's see what, you know, kind of get his feet wet. But it's just proven itself out. It's, uh, it's been really, really good. Clark, what would you say I would sort of set it up? Chase Morgan. Jack, Chase, Morgan. Yep. And then Herman on, uh, on Tuesday. We've seen since he transferred to the floor, hit a bomb here and there. What is it going to take to get the consistency where you think he's ready for you tomorrow? He's he's been flashing it, Kev. Uh, you know, in this spring training, he's he's had a tremendous spring, and and uh, you know, I'd run him out there tonight, uh, play first base. He's playing a great defense. He's finding ways. I guess the biggest thing is is Ray's finding ways to to impact the game without having to hit. And, uh, you know, obviously he's got light tower power if he runs into it. Uh, but he's also become very uh, creative uh, with his short game and, and the ability to hit and run, uh, take extra bases. Just, uh, you know, the ability to fit inside of our, inside of our offense uh, and without having to just bomb all the time. Uh, and and you, you mix that with his play at first base, it's uh, – you know, he's he's come out as our first baseman. What are there one or two positions that you may be doing a little <laughs> platooning or experimenting this week and just to kind of see what you have or how does that look? Yeah, I think uh you know you you've got a pretty good left right uh mix in there and, and left and right and and uh you know it's it, that D H spot. Ben Robichaux was out for the foreseeable future. He broke his handmate uh, a week ago. He just had surgery three or four days ago. So I would put that, I'd say, at minimum of a month uh, from last week. Uh, Maddox Mandino has really played good, a freshman outfielder uh, slash left-handed pitcher. Uh, you know, Josh Alexander has come on. He's a He's kind of a freak. Uh, can he can really run, really throw, and he's got big power. Uh, he's raw, but he's played well this spring. He's going to push to play, and uh, Luke Uhas has has really come on lately. Obviously, you got Caleb Stelly who has big potential, and uh, you know Ray Lafleur is sitting there, and and one of the biggest emergences out of the spring I think has been Lee Amity, and uh, he's a he's a potent left-handed bat. That uh, if he gets going, watch out. You got LP Langevin uh, and and JT Etheridge and and Blake Marshall. Uh, you've got uh, that's where I'll start uh, Blake McGee right now. His stuff has really jumped uh, here lately. He's back healthy. Uh, then obviously you got David Christie and uh, Stephen Cash and. Uh, Matt Holzhammer. Where is the update in terms of just their physical with Blake and, and with, with Marshall? Marshall's great. Marshall's fine. Uh, McGee has been full go for about the last month and uh, had a really good spring. And so uh, flashed some some plus stuff. And, and uh, you know, I think he's a starter, Kevin. But right now, I mean – that the room's pretty full in that area. It's uh, I, I think our starters going into this thing are as locked down as it's been in a while. Uh, if we can stay healthy, uh, but I, you know, you're never gonna finish. Very rarely, I guess you're you're pretty blessed and and having a great year if you finish the way you started. And so we'll see. 
Uh, Andrew Ramon's going to push. I mean, watch out. But the way I look at Tuesdays is Tuesdays or Fridays. It doesn't matter who it is. Uh, if if your why and your goal is to host, uh, Tuesdays or Fridays, you got to win them. Here's uh, right. Right State's got a guy who may be a top fifty pick. What uh, what have you seen from him watching him on video? Who are we talking about? Uh, outfielder, uh, right fielder, right now, and, and I'm, I'm losing his name. Well, they're all they're they're. The thing about Wright State is is they uh, they return their offense. They're going to start with some newness on the bump. Uh, although they, although they return one of their weekend guys, they'll they'll return their offense. A very cohesive unit, and and they're they're speed and strength guys. A lot of guys like us, and uh, they're going to sw- get their swings off, and they're going to look to create when they have a chance, and and so. You just circle one or two of them, and 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 you just don't give them an opportunity to beat you. The the best way, through my experience, especially the style of play that we play, is to stop the running game and to hold guys at bay like that as you get the header. And it's the teams that get preoccupied when we reach base with the runner that here comes three runs. And you know when you look at a, a, a order or lineup that's going to be as as explosive as they are. You, you really have to be able to manage the bottom part of that order because you don't want traffic when those guys get on. And his name escapes me, but I know exactly who you're talking about. He's a ton of stolen bases. He's got pop. Uh, you know, he, huh? Andrew. Andrew. Uh, he's a good player, man. And But they, he's not the only one. They've got several. That's what I was asking you, Jay. He's got several. They got several in that lineup that can play. And uh, I'm sure we'll play professionally. And so don't let the name fool you. Uh, people that know, know that that's a good program. That is a good program. And uh, as is Kent and Butler and just a lot of teams that are in that region, it's that's good baseball. I've had the opportunity to play a lot of those teams, and, and uh, they play hard and they're going to get after it, and they got good players.